you know, how you're feeling going into the season and, you know, what was the convincing factor for you to be on? Um, okay, so I'm feeling a lot of different things. I'm very excited. I'm excited to kind of like dust off my dancing shoes, get back into it. I'm also like super nervous because even my life as a professional dancer, you know, you're in a group, you can kind of hide. Where this is, you're front and center, you got the spotlight on you. Of course, I'm going to have an amazing partner who's going to get me through it, but all of the pressure is on me. But every time that I hear my self-saboteur talk to me, I say, not right now, I got this, sis. <laughs> Um, I mean, oh, I was going to ask you about that because you are a professional dancer. Yeah. Formerly, but yeah. I, was, I was wondering, like, so it's not going to be an advantage for you this time around. I mean, you know what? I, I went into my first rehearsal thinking, like, okay, this is going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. And then we're, like, busting out technique. And I'm like, okay, this is going to be a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. What's been the biggest challenge for you so far? <sighs> Framing my body. I know that sounds really weird, but like holding one position for a very long time, and I thought I was better at it than I am. So we got some work to do. Okay, okay. And then I'm, I mean, we have stacked cast. Yes. And I'm curious, you know, did you were you well, number one starstruck by anyone, and then number two, who would you say is maybe your biggest competition? Okay, great questions. Um, I was definitely starstruck by Mel C. I can't believe that Sporty Spice is on this cast. I'm the biggest Spice Girls fan know every song by the Spice Girls. Um, I'm hoping she'll pull out that backflip that we know from every Spice Girls moment ever. Um, so I was definitely starstruck on that. And you know, I think everyone has their eye or their bets on Jojo Siwa. She's half my age. Uh, she can do backflips, do a five, six, seven, eight, babysit Northwest while also selling you a shampoo all at once. So I think she's got this in the bag. <laughs> um, well, we know that you are, so you're dubbed America's gay best friend. Oh, okay. How do you feel about that term? Well, you know, I, um, how do I feel about that term? I think that it's very endearing and that everybody needs a queer person in their life. And if I'm maybe one of the first queer people that someone has met, um, I take that as an honor and hopefully that's changing people's hearts and minds in their own community so that they're branching out, they're stepping into other people's shoes and they're getting curious about queer people. So I am honored that people consider me that. I love it. And obviously we know you're a Britney stan. Uh -huh. I mean, with recent news that her uh -huh. I know, finally. I think I think he sees that the things are stacked up against him. He's like, all right, I'm gonna try to redeem myself with one with one good act. Yeah, well I was gonna ask you, like, what are your thoughts about that entire thing? It's about damn time, okay? Let's free Brittany, give her her life back. She deserves it. She's given us everything. She deserves to do whatever she wants. And if she gets out of this conservatorship and she wants to do absolutely nothing, I support it. And you do a lot of Britney in your Peloton. Stuff. Absolutely. How, how frequently are we going to see you hopefully doing some Britney? I hope that there is plenty of Britney in the stars, pun intended, for me on Dancing with the Stars. And we also know you're a huge Disney fan. Yes. So tell me, I mean, Disney Week is a big thing for Dancing with the Stars. I know. Have you already maybe thought about that? What do you want to do for a theme character? Okay, so like my favorite Disney song from a movie is Eye to Eye from Goofy Movie. It's a little underrated, it's a little under the radar, but it's such a bop. So I'm hoping that makes it into into the show. What would a costume of you? <laughs> well, maybe we can get the entire power line outfit, you know, the, the yellow jumpsuit with the shoulder pads and the amazing glasses. So maybe we can get that going. And then, um, speaking of outfits, uh -huh. I see dancing is known for, you know, uh -huh. sexy, sexy, sultry. Yes. How are you feeling about that part? I feel so excited. I want a fun and flirty outfit. I want sheer. I want sequins. I want feathers, I want it all. I want bright colors, bring it on. So you just said sheer, but how far are you willing to go to show this? I mean, maybe like a, like, you know, some nipple, but not all nipple, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and final question, what is your, maybe you can show us, your go-to move? Oh, here we go. Here we go, I saw you twerking over there, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, this is inappropriate, but like, <laughs> we do love a titty shake, you know? <laughs> and a body roll.